Hey guys and welcome to my channel. I'm sorry for not posting sooner. I've had so many things going on in my life and I just couldn't get the time to just sit down and record for you guys. But now I'm finally back and this time I'm gonna show you how I did a really simple nail design. And oh, I love these nails so much. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started. This is what I used for this set and I will be doing a kind of refill video as well because I just removed my old nails and then I did this video right after. So what I used is this primer from Enda, this is the Ultra Bond I believe, and that One Face Rose Clear Gel and I also used this glitter, um, this is the Peacock from Makeup Store and I bought this uh, several years ago so I'm not sure if they still sell it but if, you, if they do then awesome because it's beautiful. And these are the gel polishes that I will be using. I got them sent from DIY Hard Nails and guys, I love these gel polishes. They are amazing, you need to try them out. Um, I got several colors, but I decided to make a video with this paradise color because I just love it. <laughs> I love all of their colors, but this color is just, oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, and as well with their top coat. I got a base coat as well, but since I will do a kind of refill on my nails, I won't use their base coat because I will be applying this on top of a gel enhancement. But if you don't have a gel enhancement, you should use a base coat and then this paradise on top of your nails. Natural nails, of course. <laughs> so this is what I used and if you'd like to see how I did the nails, then just keep watching. So the first thing I did was to sanitize my own hands and then cleanse my nails with some sanitizer. Now on to the primer, I'm using this air drying primer by Ended and I love this primer. And by the way, before I put on some primer, I did prep my nails and what you can see is some clear gel on top of my nails. But they have a bit of regrowth so I will be needing to refill them a little bit before doing any design. So to refill them, I'm using this One Face Rose Clear Gel and I will be applying two super thin layers of this clear gel to refill the outgrowth. Now my nails are finally ready for some color. I'm using this color from DIY Hard Nails and it's called Paradise. And I love their gel polishes. They're so easy to work with and they're just beautiful. These are the Thermo Gels, I think they're called. And they switch colors depending on the temperature of your body or of the surrounding air. <laughs> So when you're warm or it's warm outside, then your nails will be light green or if it's cold, then they get really dark blue. And I love it. I think it's so beautiful. <laughs> and it's so easy to work with this because the pigmentation is really nice, but still it's really easy to cure this under the UV light because some gel polishes are really pigmented and those are not really easy to cure. But these are really easy to work with and you can just cure them for two minutes in a UV lamp or 30 seconds in an LED lamp and they will be fully cured. I'm applying two really thin layers of this gel polish and the reason why I'm applying super thin layers is because I don't want the shape of my nails to be ruined by all of these layers that I'm putting on. I want the nails to still be really thin and nice looking. So on for the next step, I wanted to apply some glitter on top of this gel polish so I'm applying a really thin layer of One Face Rose Clear Gel and then I will be applying the glitter on top of this gel. So make sure that this layer is super thin and that way we can try to make a mermaid effect nail. With crimson secrets and forbidden 
So I'm just taking another gel brush and patting the glitter on top of my nail. And I'm really not a fan of this makeup store glitter container because I don't like this little hole that it has because it's so difficult to get the glitters out. Um, but yeah, make, try your best to get the glitters and just pat them onto the nails. And when the whole nail is covered, I will be taking another brush, a fan brush I think it's called, and I'll just brush away all the excess glitter pieces that are left on the nails because we want the nail to be super smooth and the glitter pieces to be really even throughout the whole nail. I will be brushing the nail a lot to remove all of the excess glitter pieces. Now that the glitter is secured, I'm just encapsulating it with a really thin layer of One Face Rose Clear Gel. And you could apply a top gel right onto this, but I don't want any glitter pieces to get inside of my top gel. So that's why I'm encapsulating it first, and then I will be applying my top coat. And remember, this layer has to be really thin as well, because we don't want the shade to be ruined just because we have some glitter on top. So. Make sure this layer is really thin and then cure this for 2 minutes. So now I'm just applying the top coat and what I like about this top coat is that it's pretty thick. It's not thick but it doesn't run around to your cuticles and side walls, it stays where you put it. And I really really like that about this top coat. So just apply this all over the nail and cap the tip and then cure this for 2 minutes. I did actually cure this for 4 minutes and that's because I've had so many bad experiences with top coat but I'm sure you can just cure this for 2 minutes and then you'll be good to go. So this is the final result. I hope you guys liked this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions then comment down below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible. And for all of the items that I used in this video check out the description box because I will link everything as well as a promo code. So make sure to check that out and thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye!